So I'm going to move them up, scooch them out of the way, and then you're going to grab this, yep. go on either side, okay? And then when you clamp, just step like back and rip down. Yeah, at the okay? same time, yeah. Yep, so I'm going to clamp. Yeah. I understand. So see, now I got them both hanging out. Joe, so you just earned yourself a Bud Light. Good job. <laughs> 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 They say this is a uh, delicacy. Well, I'm going to give you a flyer before I leave for our testicle festival. Testicle festival. I already have enough for this year. Look good. If, we, if we wash these, we could eat. I mean, they're still moving. Okay, they're actually not bad. What? I'm just going on. What? Oh, no, wait. Ronnie. Ronnie. Hey, this is Mountain Oysters, This is Rocky Mountain Oysters. This is how you get seafood out going to. You serve these to your guests and don't tell them what they're eating. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> These are the gags, dude. Uh, I'm faint back. Stop, dude. <laughs> Stop. All right, guys. On today's episode, it's going to be a little bit different. I know in the last episode, you saw little snippets at the end of us castrating some of our bulls. Well, today it's going to be more of an educational tutorial on that. We had a very talented vet come in and not only help us with the procedure, but actually teach us the procedure step by step, what tools to use. And we want to share that with you guys or anybody who owns a farm who might need to know this kind of stuff because next time we do this, we're doing this all on our own. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. circulation cut off. Yeah, Sometimes on the bigger, we're talking about the bigger stratums, it just feel like you still have a little yeah. blood flow. Yeah, which you, I mean, you definitely do. That's why, like, those are designed for, like, pretty small scrotums. Like, the bigger ones, to be honest with you, I would just cut them. Like, six months before on those? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If they're no, older, man, then... You'll see two of them in here. We man, and they're nasty. That's why I think the next yeah. ones, I smell them. I want to watch yeah. you cut, because I'm not scared to cut them, but I don't want to cut them. It's so easy to do. I'll do one and then I'll make you do one. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. What cool. do you do for uh, antiseptic or what do you do like as far as? I just put fly spray like in a egg spray piece of bandage and that's it. Really? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, but it usually heals within like seven days. So. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This will be our first victim. Okay. First victim. Let's take a look. So, okay. So I use two different tools. You don't have to. I just think, so the Newberry knife, this is my favorite tool. Basically what you do is you're going to take the scrotal sack. Make sure both testicles are in there and then you go long ways across it. So like if I have a testicle here and here, I'm going to move those up, pull the scrotum down and I clamp yeah, yeah. skin this way okay. and then you rip down. That's it. And then this is the tool that does the job. There's all sorts of these. This is an emasculator. There's an emasculate tome, which honestly is probably a good thing to have on like the bigger bowls. Um, and what it does is it actually doesn't even break the skin. So you don't use that. Um, it's really, the only reason I recommend it is because you're 
your guy. Crushing them. It is really hard for me to do, um, but it crushes it, you know, and then it just shrivels up. But it's, so it's a true people, oh yeah. <laughs> but people swear by it, so you can try that as well. Okay. Um, okay, so. Uh, you want a razor blade? Or you want a blade? <laughs> I like to use a blade. The emasculated, he was like, yeah. <laughs> All the names are terrible. Yeah, yeah masculine. <laughs> like, like, I'm not brave enough yeah. to use it. In this one, it's always a good rule of thumb to remember nut to nut. So if, if like, once I get them out, the test will be down here, you put it towards and clamp. Because this feature, it cuts it off, but then it clamps. See right there? Yeah. And that's kind of what you want to hold on there. It like seals it like it's almost yep. like a pinch. Yep, and they're still going to drip a little bit, but... um. I have yet not had one die one loss. So I, it's yeah. almost like a carterization because it cramps it back. Yep. Heads up real quick, guys. A little pinch. Awesome. Perfect. Give me one more teed up, number two. No, it's manual, but it's required. There's lots of options. Uh, so when they get this big, I don't ever put a bar behind them because if they kick in your hands, it's going to break your hand. Yeah. Or if they go down. Um, so I just have someone tail them up. So okay. if you have someone tail up, then Knocks I'll have you stand kind of by yeah. me and we'll take a look. So always like the closer you stand, the less And I won't hurts. be offended if you come out. Just so oh, you no, know. no, no, so no. If you bail. So um, just the closer you stand, the easier it's going to be because if they kick, it doesn't hurt as bad. Yep. So I get real close and then just make sure you have both testicles. Okay, so I yep. do. So I'm going to move them Big up, boys. scooch them out of the way. And then you're going to grab this, Yep. go on either side. Okay. And then when you clamp, just step like back and rip down. Yeah, at the okay? same time, yeah. Yep, so I'm gonna clamp. clamp. Yeah. I understand. So see, now I got them yeah. both hanging out. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna push them up and I'll use that other. So you go um, push the skin up and grab the testicle and uh -huh. cut the top of the testicle. Yep. And you'll clamp it when you cut it. Yep, and then you're gonna, uh, can I hold this to you? Do you mind? Thank you. Um, hey, so stay away. <laughs> she just had a baby. <laughs> Are you not, she really She's two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks <laughs> into a newborn. So. Kind of grab and pull down. Sure. This part can be irritating to them. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So, yeah. so, once you got it out, just move the scrotal skin out of the way and you got your cord here. You are a mean woman. <laughs> <laughs> and then you cut and clamp. And as high as it goes, does it matter? It doesn't like, matter as long as you just clear the whole ball. So, clear the ball. The actual spermatic cord is. So, they say this is a uh, delicacy. Well, I'm going to give you a flyer before I leave for our testicle test. Testicle festival. I already have enough for this. Oh, year, look good. If we dog. if we wash these, we could eat. I mean, they're still moving. Okay, they're actually not bad. What? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. still on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, wait. Ronnie, Ronnie. 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 Hey, this is this is mountain oysters, buddy. This is Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, this is how you get yeah. seafood out going to. You serve these to your guests and don't tell them what they're eating. <laughs> He's in a gag can of it. I'm faint back. Stop, dude. <laughs> Just stop. Just hold it for me. No, hold I'm it. not holding that. I can't do it. I got this. I'm going to do the next one. This is not for the faint of heart. So it's safer to do it this way, but I always just kind of let them know I'm coming. Yep. And so I just kind of touch them and then I just put my foot right in there. Yep, and lean in. Okay. Now the only way that you could get hurt doing this is if you put your head right here, because he can still go this one. Okay, come And so up. he's going to break your jump. nose. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So just like, you know, keep your You're your just trying to get, so when you feel them push, it pushes you away. Yep, because you can push off of them too. Yep. And so um, now you're just going to get so in there. So now you just make sure you have both of them. Okay, okay good and so you're gonna move them up out of the way and just have the empty sack at the bottom uh -huh. okay so once you have that you pull out a little bit and are you right-handed or left-handed i'm right-handed okay goody that makes it easier to teach so now you're gonna put that lot. long way so <laughs> when you're ready to clamp and pull down i think it's easier because you have the momentum going back that you rip and you pull down yep so clamp ready, and set, then go. you can clamp and then step back and pull but when you pull force all right so down and down yep, and back. just down or back, either one. Good, nice. It's not as big as yours, but. Well, I've yeah. done it a couple more times. Yeah, a couple more. Yeah, yeah. so okay. now you got this guy. So again, so let me know. I gotta know. get a nut out first. Yes. So, yeah, but that's usually when they react. So I usually just yep. kind of 
My hands are clean. So I just cut a little bit. You are a mean girl. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You have to peel it? Yeah, so you just peel it. Oh, I see. I see. So now you got it. Now it, it pops out. out. Yep. yep. And then you push the scrotum up because if you clamp the scrotum in this, he is not going to appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so now I just crushed it. Nice. Good. And if that slips off, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes that happens to me. Um, So the bigger yeah. cut next time. All right, a we'll bad help. routine yeah. right now. Yeah, because it just gives you more area. I'm ready to move on to something else. <laughs> Buddy, I'm scary thing is I'm getting good. <laughs> what you did there, that was good. You put your hand up tighter to it. So him. you can't push you off of it. Yep. And it's just it, it's less motion and it's just good all around. So yeah. A little itty bitty piece here. Joe, you just earned yourself a Bud Light. Good job! This is a whole bourbon right here. Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, son. Not because it's a lot of work. Holy cow. <laughs> 